আসসালামু আলাইকুম রহমতুল্লাহ ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস আই হোপ অল অফ ইউর ওয়েল বা দ্য গ্রেস অফ অল মাইটি আল্লাহ আই অলসো ওয়েল ওয়েলকাম টু আওয়ার অনলাইন প্ল্যাটফর্ম অফ এন আই ভি এস হোম স্কুল ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস হে আই এম মোহাম্মদ ফারুক হোসাইন অ্যাসিস্ট্যান্ট টিচার অফ ন্যাশনাল আইডিয়াল ইউনিভার্সিটি স্কুল নাও আই এম গোয়িং টু টেক অ্যান্ড এগ্রিকালচারাল স্টাডিজ ক্লাস ফর দ্য স্টুডেন্টস অফ ক্লাস এইট ডিয়ার স্টুডেন্টস অ্যান্ড আওয়ার টু ডেজ টপিক ইজ ফ্রম চ্যাপ্টার টু creative question number 2 we will discuss it okay so let's come to the board dear students uh, on the book uh, you can see two pictures on this team and few question answers so in the picture you can see there are two kinds of uh, corruptions or crops harvested on the field uh, okay and by seeing this what you can evaluate Uh, you will get that answer here and uh, in uh, picture one you can see relay crop and in picture two you can see that uh, there uh, is a picture of cultivating bananas and in relay crop you can see that in picture one or figure one you can see that uh, in relay crop uh, there are, uh, are sugar cane and tomato cultivation okay so let's try to solve uh, the question answer after seeing that picture you will come to answer all this okay number a what is relay crop relay crop refers to the production of one crop with another in the same land that are ripen at different times growth pattern are different and nutrient uptake are also different from layers of soil that means these two kinds of crops uh, crops are totally different from each other because these two kinds of crops are ripen at different times and growth patterns are also different their nutrients are also different but by cultivating these farmers lands uh, fertility also increases okay then number b how can relay cro uh, cropping minimize the unavailability of time dear students you know that in relay crop uh, before the maturation of the main crop other crop is harvested and the other crop is shown as a result it will minimize uh, the farmer's time so let's try to solve it in relay cropping uh, legume crops are cultivated in between flow, uh, flowering and one week before harvesting of main crops as a result farmers do not have to wait until the field becomes fallow after harvesting of main crops or first crop okay then legume crops can be grown with the advantages of irrigation and labor of first crops okay point it and also becomes ready for harvesting within few days after the harvesting of first crop okay so all these facilities are only possible in relay crop in this how relay cropping minimizes the unavailability of time it also reduces the cost of the farmer because uh, it can be shown at the level of the first crop okay then number c in which method of cultivation of the figures the cost of production is low dear students in the book you can see two pictures one is uh, relay cropping and another is the cultivation of banana for cultivation of banana you may see that only one thing only the suckers if the suckers are possible uh, available then anyone can cultivate it but for relay cropping the farmers need to collect the seeds to apply the fertilizer or etc so from this notion figure 2 uh, cultivation of banana is uh, very much cheapest to the farmer so let's try to solve it production cost of cultivation of uh, cultivation is lower in the picture marked 2 
because cultivation practice shown in picture 2 uh, involves the cultivation of banana only. Banana cultivation needs only shakars. Since shakars are available, banana cultivation is easy. What I told you before. Moreover, it pro uh, its production cost is also very low. On the other hand, cultiv uh, cultivation practice shown in picture 1 uh, belongs to relay cropping of sugarcane with potato. The students, I told you it before. Therefore, for cultivation practice 1, farmers need two types of seeds and also two times labor cost for their management which increases the expenditure up to the level, up to a level. So the production cost is higher in cultivation practice 1. Therefore, it can be said that cultivation cost is lower in cultivation practice shown in picture 2. And dear students, for number D, if you have the overview of B and C, then you will be able to write the answer of question number D. And you have homework number 9 from chapter 2, C cube number 2, it's D number. I have not written it and uh, this is your suggestion. You will be able to write it from B and C. Okay. Dear students, this is the end of the class. I hope you all have understood today's class. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.